What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome back to Artificial Resident. Now the last time I played this it had a slightly different name, uh, Soul Machina, Mechina. Still don't know how to pronounce the other uh, title of the game, but it looks like this has gotten some updates since the last time I played it. And I really enjoyed a lot of what was going on in the last one, but um, if some of you remember there was uh, a, big, a part in the tutorial that was quite frustrating due to its uh, precision platforming that was required. And uh, I, I wanted to get back in and see what was going on, because it's been a while since I played it, and um, yeah, it, it popped back up on Game Jolt yesterday, and I went back and I checked the Itch.io link, and it has been updated as well. So um, let's, whoa, hey there, bud. Let's dive in. This is an early prototype demo. Bugs relative to mechanics and or graphics performance issues are likely to appear. If you have a problem, you may report uh, to report. You may do so using the following channels. Yeah. It's said that when we die, our soul survives and transcends beyond the unknown. We are given the promise of resurrection and paradise so we can accept death in a most willing way. Nonsense. Existence is a brief bracket of death, and our only shot to reach immortality. I give you, and others, the chance to live forever. The chance to host your ego in a shell more durable than flesh and bone. If you manage to succeed and unlock Origin, I may grant your freedom. And a choice. So we're a person in a robo body. I, I think that's pretty much the gist of that. All right, let's do this. All right, so we look at each one of these, right? Yep, I remember this. All right. Pardon me, let me let me just get my my noggin lick calibrated. Perfect. Boop a boop. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, do I need to click on it afterwards? Damn it. There. Okay, well. Failing right out of the gate. What else is new? <laughs> Alright, and then we click this one and this one. Do 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 boop boop. Perfect. And the door opens. Perfect. Let's let's get our bums out of here. So I remember. Yeah, the, there's a lot of like button puzzles and whatnot. But I remember the the problems with the platforming. Yeah, being based off of the run tab always run on or off. Oh, okay, so yeah, this one, this one's just, uh, a sprint to the end. But I remember the problems with the, uh, platforming being related to the, uh, movement being directly tied to the animations. So there's some weird, like, jerky movements in there, which we'll, we'll see how much that has changed, if at all, but... I'm, I'm looking forward to, to trying to get a little bit further into all of this. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. And then we jump over here. Beautiful. And... Ooh, 
push this button, which opens another door, and I think we can come out this meow. Yeah. Coolio. So where does this go? Uh, analyzer. Highlight red cannot be interacted with. Green can be interacted with. And yellow, uh, interact indirectly. So we can't interact with ourselves? Well, it's, uh, that's a shame to my usual evening activities. Alright. Where to? And wasn't there a button that, like, yeah, this messes with the music volume? Uh, middle mouse button? Or am I scrolling? Yeah, yeah, that has the music coming out of it. I like the music, though. It's kind of overly dramatic, but I think it fits, considering the whole introduction was all about moving a, a human soul into a different area. Yeah, so this one was all about pushing the buttons in the correct order, but there was some, like, ridiculously high, uh, or ridiculously poor chance of just happening to guess them all correctly in a row. Yep. And then we push this one. So I don't mind this puzzle, just because it's all about making sure that the player actually is using the mechanic needed. And that's good. That's very good. Remember to use it in all trials. So is there any reason not to just have it on the entire time? We... Ah, here we go. Oh, I, I just realized that there's a... There's like a coordinate uh, counter in the bottom right that's showing where I am. Mid-jump... Oh, mind jump. Aim at a kneeling synth frame and press interact. All right. Yeah, there we go. So I don't think it's actually possible to get through all of this. Ah, right, the jumps uh, with the same frame the entire time. So if I stand on this one. The, oh, no, 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 no. That opens the door. So I need to grab this one. Move him, like, right here. Swap over. Use this to jump up. And then we swap back. Come over here. Stand on this. And swap back up. That's it. Yeah. I this That was the point in the last uh, video that I was like, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, some activation powers require constant weight on them. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Progress saved. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here. I don't remember that exit button being there last time, so I do think the game has gotten some updates. I'm excited to see some of the, the later areas and be able to uh, explore a little bit further than we did last time. Prototype demo, only part of Octant 2 available. Uh, take portal to the corner numbered as 2. Yeah, it wasn't last time it was like the olive portal, and I was like, what the fuck color is olive? Because <laughs> there's black olives and green olives and all kinds of stuff. So, labeled as 2, so it's up there, right? Are we just going upwards, maybe? I don't know what this means. That's cool, though. I really like that symbol. Um, are we going to the top now? Maybe that's through here, yeah. Wow, okay. That's a damn smooth transition. That's a really smooth transition. All right, through here we go. And uh, yeah, let's let's head in. So that, that whole area is just the big hub. Um, yeah, there we go. And I think each one leads to, I'm assuming octant meaning eight, uh, the eight different worlds in the game. So, I just love all these blueprints in here too. It's a really nice touch because you can tell a ton of work went into them and they're just the loading screens. So, okay. 
Octant 2, Humanistics, Hub 017. And then we, synth frame number 276 has entered Humanistics, the space where innumerable knowledge is kept or disposed. We good? Can I, can I push the button now? Maybe? Button! Oh, I just needed to walk into it. That's weird. The, uh, the last one was a uh, click. All right. Yeah, look, look at these. These are awesome. Research reactor humanistics physics. So I'm assuming each one of these is gonna have like a different theme as to how they work. Uh, zero friction cube, basic interaction. Yeah, now we get our block pushy puzzles. Yeah, push the block. Push, 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 push the block. Uh, double click on a face to, oh, that's it. It's teaching me things. Oh man, like, I, I get that there's a text prompt, but at the same time, that's good tutorialization, where it forces you to learn the mechanic to progress. So we want it over there. So we need to get it there, there, uh, maybe here, up from there, down, right, meow, and we can get that by going up. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. up, and you go over, and you go up, and over again, and voila! I love puzzles like that, where it's just backtracing the, uh, 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 ah, shit, okay, now uh, whoosh, and uh, whoosh, perfect, nicey, 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 what's going on up here? Okay, so, we need both of these buttons pressed. And the, the problem that we're facing is that both of them need to come out through here, which, you know, if you have uh, this up here, mm, okay. So let's, uh, let's get this out see what's going on here. So if I pull you here, push you across, pull you up here, push you across, that allows us to come up and over. So does that, okay, that opens the first one. But then, yeah, how do we get this out? This is the thing. Um, so what I'm guessing is we do over here, bring you down, and then both of you come up. So we pull you and we pull you so that this one can come up here. You go across, you come in this way. Uh, you go up and you go up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yeah, boop. Uh, is this saving? Eight. Two. Okay. Is that what's going on here? Is it? Yep, progress saved. All right, that's kind of a long save. That's all right, though. Um, so let's get our bums back out of here. I think we're going back up to the, uh, back up to section two. And here we are. All right, so I haven't seen any areas beyond this, I think. Is there some green up here? Is that what's going on? Hello? No, that doesn't look like it can be entered. Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's head in here. I don't think I made it this far. I also just realized that um, from the 
earlier demo that I played, the part that frustrated me so much is no longer there. And uh, I have no complaints about that. None at all. Okay, so this this is a horizontal vader. Where are we? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that was pretty cool. So what's going on in here? Yeah, they seem so innocent, right? Those cubes? If you knew what they hold inside. Whoa. What's going on here? Door? No matter the plane. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Oh, that's awesome. I am so cool with this. Yeah, go little cubie cube. Oh, you're the bomb. Yeah, and you go over and then you come up. Dude, that's sweet. And you come up, and you come up. Ah, Ooh, okay. What's this do, this save? Maybe? Progress saved. Okay. Come in here. I'm, I'm really enjoying this music too. The, the detail and the scale of these areas and the like kind of calming, but also kind of, I want to call the music inquisitive music. I don't know. It's pretty neat. So if I pull you through, Okay, so... Hmm... How do we do this? So, does this allow me to uh, push you there? Yeah, okay, so is this teaching me that I need to, to be good about pushing things from a distance? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what's this one do? Okay, so we can just pull this here, right? Yes. What am I using this to like jump up here or something? Aha! Aha! Button? Okay, that opens that door. And that symbol, that plus sign, was up on this thing earlier. So. Okay. This. The barrier module. Alright, so what's going on here? Uh, we've got two blocks, and one of them needs to be used as a blockade so that the others can get in. Uh, maybe twice, because this lines up with right here. Um, so, I kind of want to get this one out of here, and then... It looks like either direction we go with it, it's gonna need these as a block off. There we go, perfect. And then pull you, pull, pull you again, pull you again, uh, so that you can go over here. And then our block friend here goes over and up. Yeah, so that allows us to get it up there. But then how do we get this one up? Because coming up and over here gets it trapped in this loop unless we have another box somewhere. So let's just put this up here and see what happens with it. Because the way I see it is that, yeah, we need, we need one block here to be able to push them both in. And in order to do that, we need some way to get this guy out of this loop and right here. So... If 
we uh, switch these around, what do we get? Just the exact opposite? Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. There's, there's no way to get this out of this loop once it's started, I don't think. Uh, unless we bring this guy back. How is that going to help us? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Solving shit, being smart and shit. Very nice. Uh, push, pull, push, push, pull. Perfect. And then, now that that's there, we need to get that one back so that it <laughs> oh, be used as a as a platform. Shit. So, I think this is the intentional starting point for this one, right? So, if we pull this, push you down. Once it's over here, I need to get it lined up with this one, but, oh, hold up, we can move this out and push you here, so we can pull this back, pull it, and then just set it where it needs to be, and then... but then we need to get that one back in there. Which means push this one across, push that. God damn it. Push, 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 push. And then we stand on here and pull. These are awesome puzzles. These are fantastic. Like, seriously. What's going on here? Is this, is this just another save or 48? I don't know what the numbers mean. Like, the different intric intricacies of like all of the different areas that you have to, to solve small problems in, in conjunction with one another, in order to move everything through, that that's just so goddamn satisfying to actually solve. Like, wow. Okay, so that's two of them. And then there's another plus sign over here. So let's uh, let's try and finish this room in this episode. Okay, no. I think the demo's a lot. Uh, Dance of three. Oh, I see. I see, I see. So we have to manipulate two boxes in order to move our way across all of these areas and use them as platforms. But where's the button for the first one? Because I think I need to get up there first. At least that's what I see see it as. Can I ride these as they move? No. Okay, they they lose their collisions when they do that. So, yeah, how do I get up there? My, my first guess is to put one right here and then let's see how this is going to work. 
that blocks it off. Okay. So can I crouch somehow to get that down? Or do I need to go like there, 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 and there? So I can't I, I can't jump high enough to jump on those. So yeah, where's the where's the button to actually get this one out of here? Is that what that is? As if so, I don't know if I see a way to get up there on my own. Because I can't jump up on that. The block needs to be on the ground in order for me to... Oh. Oh. I just talked myself into it. And then we pull you up here. And we jump up on this one. Where we then pull, pull. Can I make that jump? I can make that jump. Okay, so... Yeah, now we're allowed to get up here whenever we want to. Wow, okay. Even even just that first bit has some good stuff. Uh, I need to pull you. And then uh, push, push, and push, pull, push, pull, pu uh, whoops, push, Pull. Is right? Oh yeah, right click is used for that, so. Um, push, push. Okay, okay, and then up, nice. And then we push you down, pull you over, pull you over, pull you up. Okay, perfect. And then you go down, over, down, uh, I feel like I want to get... Uh, okay, perfect. Push, pull, pull, push, push, pull, 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 pull. Okay, come up. Just don't miss the goddamn jumps. Okay, okay. Oh, this is so cool. I love these puzzles. I really do. Like, there's... There's a lot of subtle complexity to them. Really. That... It's, a, it's pretty easy to overlook some of the stuff that's going on here. And, uh... Ah, poop, I did the same thing again. Um, so is there a way that I can crouch to like pull that one back down or do I just need to use uh, this? Uh, you go around and over and over. This is what I mean. It's really, really easy to think that you have the situation uh, figured out, but then miss something really small that just ends up fucking up the entire thing, and you you really have to reconsider everything that's going on. Uh, pull, and then pull. Can I make that jump? Oh man, it's really hard for me to tell sometimes what jumps I can and can't make, because the, the player character's jumps still feel a little janky. So, what, we have one more? Let's just, let's just finish this quadrant. Octant. Sorry. All right, what's going on in here? A cubic cushion where to kneel. Okay, and we have a second guy here. So... Obviously we need this cube over there in order to jump across. But we need the... we need something there. So what if we grab you? and just dump you here. 
and that's going to give us that platform. And then we just push, push. Okay, so I need to come up here. Push this down. Pull this over, pull it over. Switch to you. Um, pull this down, which reactivates this. Come up here. If I could jump properly. Fuck. I still think the weakest part of this game is the movement. Um, it's not nearly as uh, noticeable as it was last time, but it's still there. I pull you, push you, push you, pull you. And then I jump over here. That's why the movement's frustrating, because uh, now I have to redo that whole thing. And I, I think when you have a game that is so calculated like this, uh, having a movement system that isn't the main challenge of the game is very, very important. And I think it's because it's still directly tied to the animations. So you can see that like a lot of my movements are affected by how I end up moving the body. And in the air, it's more noticeable than any other, t like, like that. If I stop holding forward, which is a very, very natural thing for me to do in the air, uh, I stop moving completely. Um, and I just, it's gonna get frustrating later on when you have to redo really long sections because you missed a jump because of the, the movement being tied to the animations. So uh, it, it's a criticism that I had in the last version, and I still think it really holds up here. They're like, hmm, it took me three tries to make that jump, and every time I missed it, I had to redo that. So uh, I really, really don't think that there should be any challenge in the movement system. Uh, the platforming, it's fine for there to be challenges, but it, when it's in like the way that you actually interact with the world, it becomes frustrating when you have to redo long sections because the game didn't control in the way that you thought it was going to. Um, I, I would almost consider just like get, getting rid of the, uh, the true first person, which I understand could be very uh, difficult at this point in development, but... Uh, at the same time, I think it's going to be a huge overall improvement for the feel of the game, uh, should that be changed. And since it was something I talked about in the last version, it's still in this version. Like, it's fine in sections like this where... Like, mm. Oh, that's tedious. It's really tedious. Okay, so am I am I coming back up this way? Can I just move you while you're still on it? Eh, yes and no. I think that's all four, right? Yeah, except for whatever this is, but I don't know where that could be. Is there one like back here or something? Nada. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Uh, again, the puzzles in this game are phenomenal. They really are. The, like, little intric intricacies... That word is hard for me today. I don't know why. Um, throughout the different block-pushing puzzles, 
where you have to get the right alignment like three different times in order to make sure everything ends up where it needs to be and the different scaling on the walls and stuff. It turns these puzzles into very multifaceted challenges where you're working on multiple dimensions and partially using them as platforms, partially using them as weights, and it just works really, really well. But since everything of this character's movement is tied to this animation system, uh, the platforming feels awful. It, it still does. And considering that... Are we doing this or something? Does this have something to do with it? I don't know, that looks important. Uh, considering that large chunks may have to be redone, particularly in this room, uh, luckily I didn't miss any of those jumps, but if I had missed a jump and fallen back down and had to redo a lot of that due to this like weird animation tie-in, it, it just, it would be so frustrating. And I do think that that is a very, very important thing to focus on, uh, especially when, like in this one, you have chunks that you'll end up needing to redo the block pushing parts in order to do the platforming again. And that doesn't seem like the kind of punishment that this game should be dealing with, where if you miss a jump, you go back and you try it again with no punishment whatsoever. Because the challenge is not necessarily the platforming, it's the puzzles. Now, yes, there's small bits of platforming puzzles in here, but the challenge isn't the platforming. It's the platforming puzzle, where you get everything to the right place and then you execute. But when execution feels off due to the, the animations being tied to the movement and you have to redo part of the puzzle because of something that you really don't feel like you have that much control over, it, the jump is, is the worst part of this entire game. And a lot of puzzles rely on it. And I, I really feel like I need to stress that that is something that should be changed fixed, reworked, uh, reconsidered, given more air control. The focus of this game is not the platforming. And when you're punished because of something that was out of your control and have to spend time redoing a section, I, I think I've made my point here. Uh, I love this game, I really do. I f this is fucking phenomenal stuff. The, the level artwork is surreal and larger than life and it feels almost alive in its weird technology. The, the different components of these puzzles are fantastic and they work flawlessly together. The music is really nice. It, it hasn't gotten annoying in the 40 minutes that I've been playing and that's important for kind of atmospheric puzzle games. These symbols have me really curious and the little bits of dialogue make me want to keep going. But I promise you, there would be some points in this game where I was trying to execute a jump with a long puzzle preceding it that required that something be in place and in order for me to get up somewhere to use that piece. And I would Alt F4 and I would never come back and play the game again. Uh, I promise you that will happen, and I would not be the only one who falls victim to that. So I, I really think that that needs to be a focus moving forward, is just perfecting the, the air control and the jump, even, even just removing the character's uh, tie to the uh, animations while you're in the air would probably solve it. So. Yeah, I cannot stress that enough. But what, what's the new name of this game? Artificial Resident? It used to be Soul Machina, Mechina. Uh, yeah, Dev, you're doing some really impressive work and I, I really love it. But I stressed that in the last episode of this and nothing's changed in this one. So I, <laughs> I really feel like I need to drill that into you 
for, for the betterment of your game. And uh, that might be fucking egotistical and selfish of me, but I promise you that, that I am not going to be the only one that feels that way. So yeah, if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, the link is down in the description below. I highly recommend doing so, giving the dev some feedback for yourself. See if you agree with me on the movement systems, because uh, I, I have a feeling that I could either be entirely wrong or it would just help to have that come from more than one person. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Coldfire, and I will see you next time.